Before we return to the main timeline here, uh, we have we have some stuff to to mess around with. So what we're gonna do is uh, first we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna ask. I think we'll ask Asterian to uh, to to remain here at camp. Darling, I'm hurt. I thought your third language, illustrious. That just that just sounds like you're showing off. No, <laughs> but that is very impressive. I uh, I have no second language, so that's embarrassing. Wow, that uh, that sneeze was brewing for a while. Poor guy. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up Gale. And we're picking up Gale because we need access to his wizarding ways. Apart from finding me an artifact to consume, which I assume you'll with pleasure. Alright, now we don't we don't need to bother leveling him up though. Because what what we need him for, so not to bury the lead too far, is we uh we picked up a funky item that struck me as very odd a while ago and it's in our uh it's in our scroll bag which by the way we should start using some scrolls this is an embarrassment but the one that we are interested in is this one here it looks different than every other scroll and it says scroll of summon quasit summons a quasit from the lower planes the scroll is destroyed upon use summon a familiar with the form of a quasit that can turn invisible and scare enemies Sounds pretty cool from my perspective. So what I want to do now is I'm also going to come over here and this is this is the part where things are going to start to look odd. Withers, I want to change my class. I am going to make myself a wizard. Now, no need to level me up either because now the plan is we are going to leave camp, and uh, as a side note, there is a Reddit post that I uh, that I use to inform how I figured out all of this, uh, all of these little details. But there's some funky interactions that we're going to play around with. So we're going to head to the Blighted Village, and as you may or may not remember, down this wooden hatch is a uh, is a basement that we adventured through. And by adventuring through, we killed some stuff, we found a mirror, we moved past the mirror. And it turns out that the Scroll of Summon Quasit came from this area. And I, I just didn't remember it. So the, uh, the mirror was over here that granted us access to the library where we found the nom Necronomicon, etc. So what you can do, and, and this is kind of a, a funky, interesting detail, is I'm going to give Gale the scroll. And uh, as, as you may or may not know, wizards have the ability to learn a spell from a scroll. So we are going to learn Summon Quasit on Gale. And then a uh, new spell, Find Familiar Cheeky Quasit. Why is this not available on him though? Hold on a second. I, I did this. It, it took me a couple tries to get this uh, to get this right. No, there it is. It's fine, familiar. Spell is not prepared, so I think we can just prepare it like that because we're out of combat right now. Yeah, I can. So okay, so so this this learns you the spell, the ritual spell, fine, familiar, cheeky, quasit. So we can go ahead and do this. Recognize the tiny fiend, a quasit. Wicked creatures often used as familiars. We we love we love shovel. Wait, you're not Illy. All right, so at this part in the dialogue, we're gonna go through the one path here. So who is Illy? My master, tall, skinny, prick with ears. So you're shovel's master now. Fine. Uh, you're a disgusting little creature, aren't you? <laughs> and you, slab of beef with nipples. Moo. 
<laughs> that 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 is always the way that I've been described as a slab of beef with muscles. Uh, your name is Shovel. Master Ellie calls me Shovel. Don't like it. Change it. Uh, what would you like to be called? Don't care. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> Uh, we could name it Shovel Fork or Basket, apparently. I I think Shovel is very fitting, so we'll we'll stick with Shovel. So, well first, Master, gutting locals, raising the dead, making them walk, making them scream? Shovel's not very nice. Uh, no, and you'll commit no such deeds in my name. Oh. Now, did I? I may have messed this up already. Illy never shuts up, but this, but that. <laughs> Good with tongue. Good at cutting them out, too. Tell your secret. Illy weak. Illy never finish book, but master. Master can do it. Read book, conquer book. Yes. Okay, so we. I should have done that dialogue. When right. the fisting starts, use the sparky magic to call Shovel. Let's kill everything. So, so that, uh, that little interaction there, that second interaction, which was the, uh, the spell shite interaction, uh, actually, interestingly, gave my character access to find familiar also. Yes. So Gail has find familiar, but now oh, so mind. does Izip. Uh, Izip has find familiar Shiki Quasit. Now, the guide said that you have to, have to going. walk through the, the mirror, which clearly isn't the case. Uh, you just need to talk to, uh, talk to Shovel a second time after you've gone through the dialogue, and it doesn't matter who you go through the dialogue with. But anyways, long story short, the thing that is very fascinating is if we now uh, go to camp and I talk to no time to rest. I talk to Withers, who I always forget where Withers lives in this one. I think Withers is over here. Uh, if I talk to Withers I and I switch my class back to Bard, we will not lose this ritual. This ritual is forever prepared Fate and short rest new uh, accessible. So, like, as an example, I could even become a barbarian, and I still have find familiar cheeky closet, which I think is pretty cool. So, anyways, that was like a... Is this the same actor from uh, Cure in Disco Elysium? I don't know, but it, it might very well be. Uh, oh, what does this door go to? Sorry. I get, I get easily distracted. This is one thing that... When I'm running around doing vendor stuff, I also, like, get very distracted by all the little, like, uh, burlap sacks. See, we're missing out on potatoes here. The potato economy is strong in this, uh, in this region. But anyways, so long story short, I did that off camera because it took a bit of... Uh, it took a bit of futzing around with to get it just right. But... That the reason that I wanted to show that was because it explains the only kind of like odd difference between our previous save and our current save that is not just me selling a lot of stuff. So, you know, I, I did the same thing that we're used to. I reorganized our stash uh, quite extensively. Uh, so, you know, like for instance, uh, one thing that is interesting, another like little tip that I read is that. Uh, the Susser Blossoms, which are the things that are giving us the anti-magic field. Uh, oh, no. Hold on a second. When did those become withered? That's weird. So at least one of them isn't withered, presumably. Because we have the anti-magic field. Those are both good. So all three of them are good except for this middle one. And is that is that because I picked it up? Let's uh let's, let's load the game once more. They wither when they're in uh when they're in light. 
So previously, them being in a bag shielded them from light. But uh, but it's possible that I accidentally exposed one of them to light or that the bags are no longer protecting them from light. Uh, it's a little game breaking having like an AOE silence. So it's possible that. No, they're they're all good. So I, I think what that means is that so let's let's test this out. So if I grab my inventory, we can see that this. This one is now withered. Was that the... Am I losing my mind? <laughs> maybe, maybe I swapped them around. But let's, uh, let's, let's test this theory out before we go any further. So I'm going to take this bag, which has all of my... All of my susser blossoms in it. Which at some point they'll they'll come in handy, Lord knows when. But at the moment, if I open this and I open this, this one is ruined. This one is not ruined. Well, that's that's what I want to test. So if we if we leave camp, right? So now now we are in a place where presumably these would get ruined. So so to do a little a little demonstration, right? So if I take this bag and I throw it out on the ground like that, and then I open this, this blossom is still good, right? It's still functioning. But if I take this blossom and I put it out like that, I think it's supposed to get destroyed. Interesting. This bright flower picked from... <laughs> well, this is just... This is just uh, ruining all of my... Oh, wait, maybe we're in the shade right now, actually. I, th I think it may be direct sunlight. So let's... Let's let's continue our testing, right? So if we run over here to absolute brightest sunlight... And then I take this and I throw it out. That does not it is still good but then if i do this all right it's making a liar out of me my understanding was that these were supposed to right it says uh, which turns foul and eventually fades away if the bloom is exposed to sunlight what's more what's more sunlighty than this huh so I, I don't know. The, I believe that these susser blossoms were supposed to uh, were supposed to fade away, like the one here did, right into this this withered susser petal. But strange, that doesn't seem to be the case. Anyways, let us let us load again, and now we will now we will start doing some work. But there's uh, there's some science to be done there with the susser blossoms. Uh, for now, I don't think we need them, but we'll uh, we'll figure it out. I haven't I haven't found a place where they've been particularly useful, but uh, that that may change. We still have more underdark, as the stream title suggests. But anyways, let's uh, let's go through what we have done as of late. So obviously now we have find familiar, uh, cheeky closet. We may... The closet... Is he out and about? No, it doesn't look like it. I think we just used it in this particular save. So we, we cleaned up our inventories. Uh, a few things of note. So first of all, we have, we have this new bucket of fish. And I'm storing a lot of my valuables in the fish bucket. That's the, that's the play. The, the rib cage here is for uh, garbage. So, you know, sem semi-intuitively... This rib cage, uh, you can put as much as you want in this rib cage. This rib cage can hold a lot of garbage. Uh, but we went ahead and did that. I split our magical items into armors and amulets and weapons. Uh, we did, we did uh, put, we have the Banefall, which we might want to use. It is a, it is a light finesse weapon. So there is the possibility that we could use it on, uh, on Asterion. Watch your back. But I'm not... There, there's something about this short sword of first blood that 
when we are what is it when we are attacking and an, an enemy with their full hit points it uh it does good work but anyways so we've we've done a lot of cleanup as is you know as is the norm and what's in here and now we have we have a lot of places to go um we we're finishing up the underdark we also know that we have the swamp still to process uh so i think let's start just by by leaving camp and uh you know the the other thing that i think is is ironic right. is what now? in the process of finding some of these things like i have a list on the right hand side here of of like little things that i didn't realize were things so this is post party right so we've we've gone to great lengths to uh to free the grove etc these two jerks are were previously hanging out we're previously hanging out here, it but one thing that I found just when I was kind of like buzzing yeah, around is actually there's a ledge down here. If it had been up to Korg, Go figure. Would never have been here at all. And this ledge down here, if we jump down onto it, there is an impossible to see skeleton right here. <laughs> and it has a fire amber, a malachite, and 13 gold in it. So, you know, it's just... Things like that can sometimes be just like, you know, I, I wrote some of them down so as we as we are adventuring around, we can uh, we can figure stuff out. But I think At least things have stayed interesting. largely we've largely we've cleaned out all this space over here. Like we went and we robbed all of this, so that's all good and robbed. And then I think there's nothing there's nothing really going here. So the next place I want to go is I think we're going to head to the Underdark as uh, as the, the stream threatens. Well, I, I have so much FOMO that there's like a random, you know, a random barrel or something like that that we missed. But I think we're, I think we're good. Never quite good. All right. All right. But yeah, let's let's head to the the Mykonid outpost. Oh man, it's it's so insane to me. So if we go to the Mykonid, uh, the Mykonid colony from here, there's here's another thing, right? So like as as a side note, one of the other things I do during uh, during off stream time is like I I did slaughter this whole village. Uh, I killed them all. Um, <laughs> not a not my finest moment, but uh, but I didn't even notice that there's a random like poisoned person here that we uh, that we need to talk to don't her condition is familiar poison derived from a wild weed common to the underdark she'll need an antidote soon most likely held by the poisoner uh who did this to you Dwego. slashed me oh. not not having a great time uh, let's let's consider what we know of Dwegar poison. We have advantage and jack of all trades, so hopefully this goes well. Nice, nicely done. Advantage was hugely beneficial there. Like dwarves, Dwegar have innate resistance to poison, and thus no need for intricate brews. Though deadly if left untreated, the poison can be cured. By the antidote or natural remedies or natural remedies so i mean we have we have the do we have the antidote what is the antidote i can end your suffering if you want ask what's worth taking i mean we we've done the medicine check we know it's the antidote so let's just use the antidote hopefully it's not too terribly valuable Keeps you on your toes, illustrious. Autocorrect is the bane of all of our existence. God, whatever that is, I needed it. Why are you helping me? You're a drow. Uh, we're not all zealots, you know, or no harm in helping hand for underdark folk. Uh, let's go with we're not all zealots, you know. No, now I know. I thank you for your help. But I've got to get moving. Oh, it hurts. Shadowheart. Oh. 
I don't have time for this. My kin need me. That sounds like something we might be able to help with. Uh, take it easy and tell me what I can do. Seems you're the helping kind. All right. I need you to rescue my kin. Not charity, mind. We can pay. We're Iron Hand Clan. Best artificers in Baldur's Gate. Ooh, artificers. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwegar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. Okay, so we haven't crossed the lake, so that's that's good that we picked up this quest before we went. Uh, what was this expedition? Just mining for materials. Nothing unusual. I think she's lying. Fist hesitation. Yeah. Enough. She's lying. But our work pays well. Help my clan, and we'll make it worth your while. I swear. Hmm. I mean, we are good at persuasion checks. Uh, let's go with your lying. Uh, we can add. We can add a guidance bonus. I think that's probably enough. Total bonus seven to ten. We could also. We could also do friends or that, but let's let's just go with that. That is a very bad roll. All right, I will try again. There are not a lot of numbers on that dice that could have been bad for us, but we found some of them nonetheless. Fine. It's complicated, but my clan has trouble back in the city. A blood feud. We were searching for something to turn the tide. That's all I can say. Mm. But it's worth a lot to us. Understand? That sounds like it might be Night Song that they're looking for. Uh, no, I don't understand. Enough evasion and explain it. Sure, let's try that. Look, you've done me a good turn and you deserve the truth. But that's as much of it as I can tell. I swear it. Okay. If you need to go your own way, I respect that. But still, I'm asking. All right, we'll do it. All right, I'll free your people if I can. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. But here... I nabbed these boots from the Greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some Dwegger ass. We got some boots. I'll mark where I made my escape and uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? Not much choice. Okay, we completed the Poison Gnome. We received boots of speed. Click heals. Class action. Is this a free? Does that, hold on. Does this take a bonus action? Okay, so it does take a bonus action, but we could give these to someone who, these are interesting. I'm, I'm not convinced we have a way to use them, but we'll at least try. Now, the next thing is there's a, there's a path over here that we have not gone to. Like, we've gone up to the mushroom thing, but there's, there appears to still be more over here that we haven't done, so let's travel to the, the Selenite outpost next. This was, uh, back in the days before I, I learned how to, uh, how to take them for everything they are back. worth. So we need to, uh, we need to, to pillage a bit here. I was I was such a young and naive thief back in those days. Oh. So we got two books we need to make sure we read. So we picked up a faded logbook. Okay, somebody's retiring from record keeping. And we got that. Okay. So let's see. All of All of that we can send to camp. Oh, we didn't we didn't talk about the fact that we also now have a uh, a druid in camp whose job it is to make good berries for us. 
and also take care of some of our rituals. So you'll notice that we all have Long Strider and many of us have Poison Resist. Those are handled by a Hireling Druid. Now, I was a little disappointed to find out that... Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. That, like, I was very curious about this Moonstone. I was like, oh man, this is this is a funky thing, right? We got this, uh, we got this Moonstone in the middle of the of the whatever. Turns out there's nothing you can really do with it, but shooting it turns the outpost on. So all of the torches get lit when you do that, and uh, yeah. I thought that was I thought that was interesting and also a little weird. Well be done. Uh, and then anytime I can pick up, you know, like a few Securing. a few bits of explosives here and there, you know, hard to uh, hard to turn down. Someday there's gonna be some fireworks. But but yeah, I, I was really hoping that there was gonna be some larger puzzle to the moonstone, but uh, if there is, no one no one has found it. And then I think now we can pick up another oil barrel over here. But I do think that it's really cool the way the whole the whole like outpost turns on all of the torches. Shared stash. Oh. Lizelle has taken the cyanite key from Izip using magic pockets. Oh, that's cool. I don't think we previously got those types of uh those types of indications. And also, it's also cool that it actually transferred the, uh, transferred the, the key over to her because she was far enough away. I mean, we are, we are well on our way to a tactical nuke, I feel like. Found and taken. I know what to do. Man, so many oil barrels in this uh, in this outpost. I was hoping she could she could run around that. And then up here, I think we did everything there was to do up here. I'm looking forward to Lazelle having like a ton of strength and being able to carry around like 40 backpacks. But I'm always worried about stuff like this just because my uh, my younger my younger's Boulder Gate self was not good at uh, not not good at plundering. We've uh, our plundering skills have uh, have radically improved. Open up. So like I almost missed out on that rotten carrot. Which the originally I was like, ah, we don't you know, we don't need rotten food. That's the Still one thing alive. that I'll leave behind. So that's progress. But the the actual reality now that I've kind of had a bit of experience in the game is like if I'm gonna grab mugs, for instance. Uh, I might as well grab rotten food because it is similar, similarly worth a gold apiece, basically. But yeah, there's so many, like, you know, random skeleton leaning up against this. We've gone full loot goblin, as you do. Alright, but now our play here is... Where do we want to go? We want to go kind of like... Well, we want to get all the way down here. So we might actually want to go to the beach and then come up along it. Yeah, that looks more like it. I'm getting better at using the fast travel too, I will say. I think we climb up this. Okay, and then we want to go, we want to kind of veer left up this way, which I think was towards like, yeah, this was towards the mushroomy shenanigans. I, I love how one person always stays behind. It's like, oh no, don't do that, everybody. Oh boy. Unlink them. Yeah, navigating navigating 
rifts like this is, is frustrating. Oh, and that actually reminds me, that was the other thing. Uh, it has been recommended to me Still by good. a friend of it's the channel everything. that we might wanna we might wanna try tactician for a little bit. Like you can switch between them kind of at at will. Never wanted the easy but, but you know, our, we've we've been getting better. What what the heck was that plus twenty eight? <laughs> that that already seems worrisome. But yeah, so there's there's a path.